Okay, today we're going to start um, taking a look at how you might adjust your viewing window and also at the same time then locating your x-intercepts um, for a, a graph that you might have generated in your calculator. Okay, so um, I'm going to look at here y equals x squared minus 35. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put that into my graphing calculator as x squared minus 35. Now, not knowing whether or not that's going to fit in the viewing window um, nicely or not, I'm probably, to save a step, going to go ahead and, and zoom 6 or zoom standard and see what that gives me. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, this is an x squared. It should be a parabola. So I should have had a parabola here. Okay. And um, it is an upright parabola, but I cannot see where that vertex of that parabola is. And so um, to adjust this viewing window, I can come over here and I can hit Window. And when I do, then it gives me an X minimum and an X maximum. All right, standard at negative 10 to 10 across the X axis left and right, and a Y min and a Y max at negative 10 and 10 along my Y axis. All right, this X scale is meaning it's the uh, graph is counting by one and on the y scale it's counting by one all right now really left to right let's go back and look at that graph real quick um, those x-intercepts are showing up just fine so there's no reason to adjust left to right on that x-axis however I do have to adjust the y-axis okay now so that I don't have to just randomly guess if I do second and then table I can come in here and I can start taking a look at my table of values all right, and actually, this is about where it needs to be here. Um, I can look down here at 4. I'm at negative 19, so that's pretty far at 3, negative 26, negative 31. All right, but then right there where I get to negative 35, it starts getting uh, bigger, negative 34, negative 31. All right, so that means that that at 0, it goes through negative 35. So when I set my Y minimum, I need to be below that. So I'm going to come back in here to my window and I'm going to arrow down to my Y minimum. And since that was at negative 35, let's do well, negative 40. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and come down and change the scale on that Y axis because one, it would put, you know, negative 40, you know, 40 little marks on there. So let's up that to about five, just personal preference there. And then let's go see what that looks like on our graph. Okay, so I've done a pretty good job there. I've used the um, table of values to figure out how far I need to set that. And I can still see my x-intercepts. All right, now let's go ahead. I've adjusted the window. Let's go ahead and find those x-intercepts. Um, if you recall, it's going to be under the calc menu, so I'm going to have to do a second and then calc. And an x-intercept is a zero of the function, so I'm going to select two. All right, and it's going to ask me for a left bound. I'm going to find this one over here on the left side first, so I'm going to arrow over till I am on the left-hand side of that x-intercept and you it's hard to see up there but you are flashing you are to the left side of that now I'm gonna hit enter and now ask for the right bound so I'm gonna arrow to the right of it just a little ways there and hit enter and now the calculator is asking for the guess so I'm gonna go back and attempt to guess where that x-intercept is and hit enter and it gives me a value of negative 5.91608 and then a y value of 0 all right, so from that first x-intercept, I can come over here and I can enter um, negative 5.92 um, if you're rounding to the nearest hundredths, maybe, and then um, 0. All right, and if I want the x-intercept, all right, I do need to write it as an ordered pair like that. Okay, now I'm going to come back over here to the graph. Now I need to find this other x-intercept, so I'm going to go through the same process. I'm going to do second calc. My x-intercept is a 0, so I'm going to select 2. And again, it's asking for the left bound. My cursor is right there where the first x-intercept was that we found. So I've got to come all the way over here to the left side of this. So it'll take a while probably to get around there. Okay, right about in there would be good. I'm on the left side of that intercept. All right, now it's asking for the right bound. So I'm going to continue to arrow to the right side of it and hit enter 
now it's asking for the guess right there so I can come back down try to get my cursor right there on that X intercept and hit enter and this one alright as we would have suspected it being symmetrical around the Y axis it is at positive 5.916 okay so then um, I can come over here and I can do 5.92 if I'm rounding to the nearest hundredths zero and I can now write that as my second x-intercepts. Alright, so um, just a couple little things there on how to adjust your viewing window using your table of values and then also finding your x-intercepts alright, and writing them as ordered pairs.